Hello all, I'm Gray, aka the TF2 Weapon Ideas Dude, and I decided for today to talk about the Dead Ringer. It received changes in both Gunmetal and Tough Break, and I would like to talk about those. First off, before Gunmetal, it had a 90% damage reduction on the hit that triggered the feigned death. That allowed you to survive even a backstab. And it really made you able to get out of almost any situation alive if you just deployed your dead ringer. Then in gunmetal, it was changed to a 50% damage reduction. So you can still be heavily damaged by stuff like rockets or grenades. And also in gunmetal, a speed buff was added. For three or four seconds after you activate, you will have a speed buff to allow you to get away and escape WM1 pyros in particular. And now, I really like that change. It was an excellent change. Tough Break added a little more damage resistance, up to 75%, but that's not as important. See, I think what Valve was trying to do here was to find a balance between get out of jail free and completely useless. 90% is get out of jail free. You can survive anything, any source of damage in the game, with that. And it just basically gives the spy a second life, if he can hit mouse 2. And that's pretty crutchy, if you ask me. So they nerfed it, down to 50%, with the speed buff. Now you can't, there are things you cannot survive now. Headshots, I think. Um, stuff like backstabs, which you previously could not resist. Sticky bomb traps, most of them. Stuff like that, you couldn't just walk right through. So now, it was more designed for its original use, tricking people into thinking that you're actually dead when you're not. I know an excellent spy, his name is Lenny, and... The way he uses the Dead Ringer, especially after Gunmetal, made me really wonder whether he was alive or dead. Reports of his death have been greatly exaggerated, people. <sighs> but the problem with having a 50% damage resistance was that you would still be pretty much out of commission for quite a while, since you would have been taken, you would have eaten a crocket, or not a crocket, just a rocket, or a pill, or a sticky to the face, and that's not pleasant, and it really would put the spy out of, out of commission for almost as long as if he had actually died. And the speed buff helped with that. It helped the spy to get away, or get into position for the final stab, or whatever you're planning to do. So, Tough Break really made it less crutchy, it's still not crutchy in that it gives you a get out of jail free instantly, but the speed buff is quite nice. I personally would like something somewhere between tough break and gunmetal, like 60% damage resistance, somewhere in that neighborhood. But as you can see, the Dead Ringer was always a watch that was intended for one purpose, but was almost exploited for another purpose. It was supposed to be a tricky weapon, a spy-like weapon, but then it turned into a complete crutch that allowed you to just survive almost anything. At one point, apparently, it was up to 80% usage. That's just crazy. Having 80% of spies using that thing? Yeah. And now I much prefer it because... You can't just use it as a get out of jail free. It's not your second coming. It's not like you're rising from the dead. It's more like you're given the chance to escape and make the most of your fake death. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.